Welcome to Uncle Stewart's backyard. To be a steward of the earth means you love the natural world. There's only one earth and it's our home, so we need to take care of it. From the worm to the tree, all life is to be respected. Hey, Stuart. I was hoping to play outside today, but it's cold and rainy. That gives me an idea. Let's go inside to my workspace. Follow me. Okay, Stuart. Let's go inside. Hey, Stuart. Welcome to my inside workspace. Now, all this stuff you see, I collected in my yard or on hikes. Now, I only pick things up on the ground and never anything living. Now, I have some peppers from the garden and some dried berries I found on the ground, some acorns. I have four different types of feathers. This is a turkey feather. I have rocks. I love rocks. I have some sticks, all pretty small, different sizes, different colors. A pine cone, some big seed pods, and some other seed pods. That's the start of my collection. Today, I'm going to sort all my nature treasures into containers. Julia Hill Butterfly became concerned about the redwood trees in California when she learned that a large number of these ancient trees were to be cut down. So she decided to do something about it. She climbed a 1,500 year old tree and lived there for 738 days, over two years. Her decision paid off and the Pacific Lumber Company agreed not to cut down the tree and acres of others in the area. She named the tree Luna. She's a true steward and one of her great sayings is, I wake up in the morning asking myself, what can I do today? How can I help the world today? Now normally I would recycle these things, but I'm going to repurpose them. This is a can that used to have beans in it. Here's two yogurt cups. Here's a jar that used to have olives. And two Ziploc sandwich bags. This will be a good start. My sticks will go well in the can. And the seed pods, they'll go really well in this little Ziploc bag. My dried berries, I can kind of just put in here. My seed pods and acorns in the jar. And I'll put my rocks into a yogurt container. These small feathers I can put in my other Ziploc baggie. And the rest of the stuff, it's fine the way it is. Organization is important. It makes things easier to find. Now, we are going to make our treasure box. I have a shoe box here. It's got a great lid on it and plenty of space inside for all the things that we collect from nature. But first, we need to paint our box. I have some green paint because green is my favorite color. And I have a brush and I have a thing of water so I can rinse my brush out and I have my box. Now I put everything on top of another box so I don't get the table dirty. Here we go. But markers or crayons work just as well. And shoe boxes are great because they have a lid. Now it's time to decorate our box with some of nature's treasures. Here's an easy way to help the planet. If you're not using it, turn it off. Here's another one I'm not using. By saving energy, we save the Earth's resources. 
Saving energy is a steward's responsibility. The less we use, the less the earth is used. Now it's up to you what you want your box to look like. Let's see what I come up with. I'm going to start placing my pieces of nature on the lid to see how they look. Okay, I think I got it. It's important to use enough glue to hold down our collected jewels of nature. I use clear glue so when it dries, it doesn't show. Now this will take a while to dry, so maybe it's time to take a nap. I love a good nap. I think my treasure box is all dried. Now I might add some more detail here and there, but it's filled with all the treasures and I can't wait to get started making some nature treasure gifts. It's time for the quiz. <sighs> Do you remember? Can you decorate your treasure box any way you want? Absolutely, or nope. Well, absolutely, you can decorate it any way you want. Which glue should you use for your treasure box? Clear glue or white glue? Use clear glue. How long did Julia Hill Butterfly live in a tree? For 20 days or for 738 days? 738 days. That's over two years. Great job! It's time for the creed. As a steward, I vow to respect all life. From the top of Mount Everest to the bottom of the ocean. What's around me is part of me and I am part of it. I am a steward, a caretaker of the earth. I'll see you next time.